really is what Breathe Deep is about. <laughs> Dr. Melanie Silas spends most of her days here, developing curriculum for her nonprofit, Breathe Deep. It can be um, a direct <laughs> indication of literally taking a deep inhale um, and exhale, or it can be um, a symbolism of sorts of how you do self-care. Melanie founded Breathe Deep towards the end of last year. She used her experience working as a health studies professor to create programs to meet the mental health needs of the community in a different way. When we think about mental health, we think that, you know, people are just looking for someone to give them an answer. But I think that the research that I've done, the interviews that I've had with, um, you know, many women and girls is that they really want to be a co-healer in their um, in their process. You know, we don't want someone to give us the answers, but we want someone to give us strategies. Currently, Melanie is working with a young women's college prep to create a therapy program. It'll focus on helping mental health in girls and young women as they deal with trauma, loss, and grief. And so a part of that is you know, the social stressors and cultural stressors um, and oppressions and traumas that um, our communities have gone through, but we still need to find a way to recover and to restore our bodies. Eventually, Breathe Deep programs will expand to include young men and other community members. But Melanie says right now, young women are the focus. <laughs> women and girls are more empowered when they have an opportunity to be voices at the table. And Breathe Deep wants to create not only the table, but we want to create all the chairs and we want to invite people to the table. The therapy program with Young Women's College Prep begins in April. But for Melanie, I think I just got lucky. You know, I just got really blessed. The work starts now. <laughs> Rachel Nemi, Spectrum News.